Good evening and welcome to Night Prayer. Tonight I'm using a simple evening liturgy from the Iona community. Peace on each one who comes in need. Peace on each one who comes in joy. Peace on each one who offers prayers. Peace on each one who offers song. Peace of the Maker, peace of the Son, peace of the Spirit, the Triune One. O God, for your love for us, warm and brooding, which has brought us to birth and opened our eyes to the wonder and beauty of creation, we give you thanks. For your love for us, wild and freeing, which has awakened us to the energy of creation, to the sap that flows, the blood that pulses, the heart that sings, we give you thanks. For your love for us, compassionate and patient, which has carried us through our pain, wept beside us in our sin, and waited with us in our confusion, we give you thanks. For your love for us, strong and challenging, which has called us to risk for you, asked for the best in us, and shown us how to serve, we give you thanks. O oh God, we come to celebrate that your Holy Spirit is present deep within us and at the heart of all life. Forgive us when we forget your gift of love made known to us in Jesus. And draw us now into your presence. Amen. And so we reflect on the day gone by, thinking of the people that we've met, the things that we've done, the words we've said or not said, the actions we have completed or left undone. And as we reflect, we notice where we have fallen short. We notice where God has been with us. We notice where our hearts have been hurting or where they've been singing with joy. All of life belongs to God. So bring your day now and the person that you are to the one who loves you unconditionally. We set sail from Troas and took a straight course to Samothrace, the following day to Neapolis and from there to Philippi, which is a leading city of the district of Macedonia and a Roman colony. We remained in the city for some days. On the Sabbath day, we went outside the gate by the river, where we supposed there was a place of prayer and we sat down and spoke to the women who had gathered there. A certain woman named Lydia, a worshipper of God, was listening to us. She was from the city of Theatira and a dealer in purple cloth. 
the Lord opened her heart to listen eagerly to what was said by Paul. When she and her household were baptised, she urged us, saying, If you have judged me to be faithful to the Lord, come and stay at my home. And she prevailed upon us. And I love in that story that it almost seems to be a series of coincidences. Paul and his companions uh, travelled to Samothrace and Troas and Macedonia because Paul had had a vision, a real sense that God was leading them in a particular direction. They didn't really have any idea what they were going to or what would happen once they got there, but they weren't overly worried about that. They just followed the prompting of God. And then they hung around in the city for a while, again, it's seemingly not really sure what they were supposed to be doing. At the heart of it all, though, was prayer. And on the Sabbath day, they went to pray and they happened upon some women sitting there and started chatting. And again, almost like a coincidence, there was Lydia, who listened and was intrigued by what they had to say. And in the end, Lydia and her whole household were converted and Lydia went on to be an influential person leading a church in the area. Now, of course, now we'd say that isn't coincidence, that's God incidence. But perhaps it's an encouragement to us that even when we don't really know what we're doing, when we don't have much of a plan, we don't know how it's going to work out, that we should still walk by faith. And when we have that sense that God is asking us to do something, to follow that prompting and that urging, because we never know who we'll meet. We never know what influence our presence or our words will have on someone. We never know how God will use us. And so we come to our prayers. And I'll give a suggestion as to what we might want to bring to mind and then leave a moment of quiet. We bring to God someone whom we have met or remembered today and for whom we want to pray. We bring to God someone who is hurting tonight and needs our prayer. We bring to God a troubled situation in our world tonight. We bring to God someone whom we find hard to forgive or to trust. And we bring ourselves to God, that we might grow in generosity of spirit, clarity of mind, and warmth of affection. And we join all our prayers together as we say together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. O Trinity of Love, you have been with us at the world's beginning. Be with us till the world's end. You have been with us at our life's shaping. 
be with us at our life's end. You have been with us at the sun's rising. Be with us till the day's end. Amen. And now this night, may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen.